Hello everyone, a hearty welcome to Smile Kids channel. Now let's see flow chart on crop production and management with explanation. But before that, subscribe to our channel Smiley Kids and do not forget to click on the bell icon for all the updates. So let's get started. This is the flow chart on crop production and management. So here we covered crops, the types of crops with examples. We also have the agricultural practices which involves preparation of soil, sowing, manuring, irrigation, protection from weeds, harvesting and storage. So let's see about each one in detail. First, let's see about crops. What is a crop? The same kind of plants are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale is called a crop. There are two types of crops, namely Kharif crops and Rabi crops. The examples of Kharif crops are groundnut and cotton. What exactly are Kharif crops? The crops which are sown in the rainy season are called Kharif crops. Now let's talk about Rabi crops. The crops which are grown in the winter season are called Rabi crops. Examples of Rabi crops are gram, pea, etc. This is all about crops. Now let's see agricultural practices. The first one of them is preparation of soil. Let's first talk about preparation of soil. There are two methods involved in preparation of soil. They are plowing and leveling. What is plowing? The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called plowing or tilling. So now let's talk about leveling. What is leveling? The plowed field may have many big pieces of soil called crumbs. It is necessary to break these crumbs with a leveler. We need to level the soil. The field is leveled for sowing as well as for irrigation purposes. This is all about leveling. The agricultural implements used in the preparation of soil are plow, hoe and a cultivator. The next agricultural practice is sowing. What is sowing? Sowing is the most important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality seeds are selected and they are sown. The agricultural implements used in the process of sowing are traditional tool and seed drill. Traditional tool is funnel shaped. The tool is used traditionally for sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel. The seeds are filled into the funnel and are passed down through two or three pipes having sharp ends. Now let's talk about seed drill. Nowadays, the seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors. It ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing. This prevents damage caused by birds. This tool sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and depths. This is all about sowing. Now let's see manuring. The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manures and fertilizers. Manure is an organic substance whereas a fertilizer is a chemical substance which is prepared in the factories. Few examples of manure are 
cattle dung, human waste, etc. Few examples of fertilizers are NPK, which stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, superphosphate, urea, etc. Farmers are encouraged to prefer manure than fertilizers because manure enhances the water holding capacity of the soil. It makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases become easy and it increases the number of friendly microbes. Also, it improves the texture of the soil. This is all about manuring. Now let's talk about irrigation. The supply of water to crops at different intervals is called irrigation. The sources of irrigation are wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams, canals, etc. The traditional methods of irrigation are takli, moat, chain pump, and rahat. The modern methods of irrigation are sprinkler system and drip system. The next agricultural practice is protection from weeds. What are weeds? Weeds are undesirable plants that grow along with the crop. The removal of weeds is called weeding. How can we control weeds? Weeds are controlled by using certain chemicals called weedicides. The next agricultural practice is harvesting. What is harvesting? Harvesting of a crop is an important task. The cutting of a crop after it's mature is called harvesting. Harvesting can be done by using the traditional method that is sickle. Harvesting is also done by a machine called harvester. There are two methods of separating grains from the chaff. They are threshing and winnowing. For threshing, we use a machine called combine. Combine is both a harvester as well as a thresher. The process of separating grains from chaff is called threshing. Now what is winnowing? Farmers with small holdings of land do the separation of grain and chaff by the process of winnowing. The last agriculture practice is storage. It is one of the important tasks. The proper storage of grains is necessary to protect them from pests and microorganisms. So, they are stored in silos and granaries. Silos and granaries are large-scale storages of grains. So, how can we store food at home? Dried neem leaves are used for storing food grains at home. Hope you all enjoyed this session. Before leaving, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Smiley Kids and click on the bell icon for all the updates. Thank you friends.